All right, so this is a quick experiment on which one of my lights would I require to be able to uh, expose for the background. It's not the sunniest days, it's a little bit overcast, but I do get, I do have the sun coming in um, from behind to kind of give me a little bit of back edge light. So what I want to do is drop the exposure on the camera to compensate for the background not being overblown and then bringing in the light to see which, how powerful of a light would I need to be able to expose for the background um, and still have proper exposure on my face. Right now I'm using the uh, monitor and control app to see what the camera is seeing. And right now the settings are base ISO on the FX30, which is 800. Uh, 180 degree shutter rule and iris is at 7.1 so f 7.1 so that's the current settings i'm going to drop first of all drop the iris or aperture to about i would say f 2.8 i do want to have a little bit of blurry background i am then going to turn up the variable ND to bring exposure for the background. I think that background looks pretty well exposed. And now if I step into the frame, as you can see, I am, I am pretty dark, right? So right here to my right camera left, I have the Nanlite 300B. That is going to be my key light. I'm going to see if it's powerful enough to bring exposure on my face and still keep for exposure in the background. All right, so let's see what that looks like. All right, that's not too bad. Let me see if I can get it a little closer without it being in frame. All right, so that's not too bad. It's not showing in frame but I don't think the levels on my face is where it needs to be. Let me see if I have false color. False color is telling me that I'm, my face is underexposed. I am clipping a little bit in the background. The sky is clipping a little bit, but everything else looks just about properly exposed. So I think I need a little more power. The, the Nanlite is currently set to 75% which is almost maxing out. So let me see if I can max it out. See what that does. See if that brings it up anymore. And as you can see the cloud is the sun is going behind clouds going in and out of um, behind clouds. So this is almost there in terms of exposure. I think I could in a pinch use the 300B to to get levels to at least decent, in my opinion. Yeah, so in my opinion, this is a little underexposed, maxing out the 300B. So I'm gonna bring in the 500B, the big boy, and see if that, see if that helps. So let's start with it at 70%. Let's see, let's see what that looks like. Also need to bring this back up to about 50, 600. All right, so the monitoring control app is no longer working. So um, we're just gonna have to try, to try to try to see it, see what it looks like in post. So right now the Nanlite 500B is on the is on the light, and it's currently set to 70%. So I'm going to check what it looks like at 70%, see if that's properly exposed, and then I'm going to bump it up to 90. Let's bump it up. All right. So before I go to 100%, I'm currently at 90%. So let's see what that looks like. It's at 90%. Um, I think I'm probably properly exposed with the background also being properly exposed. 
and then um, let's go all the way up to 100, see what, see what that looks like. I probably could use, let's use the NAND link, the NAND link app. All right, so it connected to the NAND link app. This is one of the flaws with the NAND link app I found, is that when you, if you adjust the light on the light itself and then you come into the NAND link app, it defaults to what the last setting in the NAND link app was. And so it's bumping up back to, this is 90%. Let's also go back up to 5,600. So 5,600 at, 90% and this is the exposure. Let's go to 100, we're at 100% maxed out on the 500B. Is that enough to compensate for dropping the, the, the exposure to match the background or to expose to the background? Is the 500B enough to bring exposure on me or my face to compensate for what's going on in the background? I'm also, I'm also gonna add one more thing or I'm gonna try one more thing where I'm, I'm gonna to try to expose for the highlights in the clouds in the, in the sky and see if the nan light can still compensate for that. All right, so my ND is actually at the max that the ND has to offer. So I'm going to use the iris to kind of bring in a little bit of detail in the clouds, all right? So right around here, I think we can see some details in the clouds. We're at, all right. So now you can see a little bit of details in the clouds themselves. The aperture is set to F5.0. Nanolink is maxed out, ND is maxed out. And so I had to use the iris to kind of compensate for the background. So let's see, do I look properly exposed? I can't see the image right now. So am I properly exposed? Am I underexposed? trying to expose for, you know, the skies. So let's bring that in post and check it out. All right, taking this into post, you can tell that the uh, Nanlite 300B wasn't quite hitting the mark. It is underexposed um, by probably two or three stops. Over on the, on the Nanlite 500B, it is better exposed, still a little underexposed, could probably need, it would probably need a little more light um, a little more power. I, I probably could have removed the diffuser and get a little more light on my face. Um, but I am obviously seeing that the, the 500B is almost there and I could probably bump exposure a little bit, uh, in post. So, so here's what it looks like with a little bit of color correction. It is basically right about there. So, but, uh, there we go. I hope you like this experiment. I was just trying out to see what would happen if I if I put these two lights um, head to head. And obviously, numbers don't lie. The 500 watt light definitely came in um, the winner.